Green and a spell. Oh, hello there. Yeah, we were just playing a game of Super Boss Monster. Uh, this is the bigger, badder, better version of Boss Monster. Been 10 years. Time for a new upgrade. Years. Yeah, I would say so. Johnny, what's your favorite part of Super Boss Monster? Ooh, that's a tough question. I would have to say the card drafting. I love that it's no longer a random draw. Cards are on the table and you get to pick the one you want. Hmm, that's close, but not quite. Actually, the best part of Super Boss Monster are the landmarks in town. As heroes come into town, they overflow into these landmarks, letting me assign them to the dungeon of my choice or picking game-changing action spots. That's actually the best part of the game. I mean, that stuff is cool, but when you really think about it, I think just the cards themselves, the core boss monster play is so fun, especially with all these plus one counters. Uh, there's a lot of cards that utilize those, and I feel like, I mean, look at your town's hall there. It's currently doing like seven damage. How cool Beastie. is that? Beastie, yeah, yeah, that's cool, that's cool, but mm, wrong again. Uh, the best part of super boss monster is actually you can use every card in your previous boss monster sets while playing this game. 100% backwards compatible, and really everything we've added to it enhances and makes your boss monster game better. In the end, I think the best part of Super Boss Monster is everything. Oh, I thought you were going to say the friends we made along the way. <laughs> that too. Thanks, everybody.